Okay, so we're going to meet Natty. And we are going to go to Hogsmeade. And there's another one of these here and another page. So let's go. Number four. Right, so you're there. So let's go F. And it's, we find out it started at zero. So 11 plus... Two, 13 plus whatever is 21 so that should be an 8 so we want a spider okay so we've got a spider well that's cool all sorts all over the place Did I see it? I did. But I didn't figure out what number I needed. I've rushed. So I was trying to figure out where that thing was, the double question mark, and I didn't even stop to think of uh, what number I would need. So we'd need whatever that one is. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 plus the weird tarantula crab looking thing. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 14. So 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 is a hydra. Revelio. There we go, that's a Hydra. Oops! Get him in the face with a uh, door. Blank square frame, okay. Scarf, and that's an upgrade. So let's have a look at our gear. That goes up four. Okay, so we'll equip it. I don't particularly like the look of it though. So let's back out. We can hit F to change appearance. And I think we'll just remove it. Right. Want to where's Natty? It wants us to go that way. I can't believe Black is still the headmaster. He obviously <sighs> Oh that's cool. I should think there's an entire world. This cannot possibly be Hang on. as it seems. Okay, let's talk to Lenora. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. Okay. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Okay. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Okay, that's cool. But I'm not sure what to do next. Okay, are there other paintings paintings like this here? Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. Seems if I can to be. Work out the riddle of this one. I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look could be intriguing I've been racking my brains long enough I hope you'll have better luck than I have 
Okay, so Luminous. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Let me answer. Well, that's not the one I want. It's Luminous. number one. Okay. Spot must be a clue. I should right, go hang on. It's nearby. So it's kind of a bottom of a stairs where there is a weird shaped pedestal. So there's some stairs here. I don't see a pedestal. Uh, the other stairs? <gasps> Hang on, there's. This looks like the location from the. Hang on, there we go. A little moth. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. That's cool. Is there? Okay. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell him okay. to solve the puzzle of that empty frame. So F. That gives us another page. Okay. Here's Lenora. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. That's cool. The moth. I should have seen that. Revelio. Thought I saw a page. I did. All the way over there, though. What are you? There we go. It's not a fort. Okay, let's get to Natty. Apparently, I'm not tracking anything. Quests. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Let's go meet Natty. I missed anything? That's down. That's down. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Oh, and they're all collections, so I'm not going to worry about those. Okay. It's cool that we've got these little magical trails to follow. It makes it so much easier so far to navigate. Okay. Humming heart for humming armor. Revelio. Oh, okay, there's one more. This wooden statue bears a likeness of Panger Don, fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Okay. Anything else? Ah, there's a flu. Here's Natsy. Just quickly reveal. Um, there we go. This set of armour belongs to Sir Scagglethorpe, the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Yeah, that's not a good idea. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience.
Wow. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. Excuse me? The timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Revelia. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. <laughs> I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Mm, not exactly elective. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace wing flies ah. in the area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Oh, that's awesome. Right, so let's cut. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't too bad. Like there's a fair few of them around. Let's stop off here for a second and grab some stuff. From the forbidden forest. Where? Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. Oh. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. I guess I missed them. These are going to be good for portion brewing. And we're going to be going to the portions shop. It makes sense to... Pick them up, okay, so we can leap over walls. Here's some more. You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Like we already named them too. Prop soup and sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? <laughs> the professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. <laughs> ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. Okay, so that's a ruin. Revelio. I would spend all of my time exploring okay. if I could. Says. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows mm. more about me than I have thought. Oh, chest. Well, I certainly learn a great deal um, in class. And a bag. Outside of the castle wall. So, F. That gave me a little bit of gold. What are you? Okay. Oh, so we got a straw hat. Now can I get out? Uh, two. And four. Two. Let's try two again. Ah, yeah, you have to get rid of that one first, don't you? No, can I get over? Or have I got myself stuck? Oh dear. There we go. 
Took a little bit of an angling, but we did it. Okay. Four, two. Two. Let's uh, leave it alone then if it won't, we can't put it down. Need some more stuff that we can collect. Not sure what we're going to use them for, but we'll collect them anyway. How are you feeling? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. Okay, so you can go to the lake. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. Oh, Moonstone. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Yep. Okay, so it is just a case of blasting them. Revelio. Fair bit of a trek to uh, Mr. the village. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Okay. A bit worse for wear. Okay. Mm. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? He doesn't oh, look yeah. too good. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay, a demiguys. Oh, Mr. Moon, a demiguys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Mm -hmm. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. It's cool that. It's nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I hmm, it looks like. Whenever you'd like. Rumours being what they are, Rebellion. and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Okay. See a page. Hang on. Can I reach it? And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer, and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can wow. tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Hey, so some of the doors are locked as well. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Awesome. Experience meet at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is bringing with different sites, shops and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Okay. Hogsmeade shop sh shown the points of interest are you can track these by highlighting an icon and pressing right click just press esc Okay, so we're going to need that, so we will track that one first. For you, sporting goods, they sell brooms, that's cool. So they're tomes and scrolls, portions, and magical neep. Okay, so in here we can get chests. Field guides and demiguise statues. 
Long course, three broomsticks, Guaya, Steeply and Sun, Tea Shop, Honey Dukes, Brood and Peck, Beast Supply Stock Shop, The Old Fool, An Abandoned Old bu Building in Hogsmeade. That's cool. Okay, so this is a bu this was a broomsticks one then I am assuming. But it's locked. Ah, that's a shame. I'm going the wrong way. What? Ah, oh, there's Ollivanders. Okay. Ones of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility. Each possessing one of the three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy cluttered shop run by amiable and knowledgeable Gerald Ollivander in the profession of wandcraft since 382 BC. The Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Okay, that's cool. Got a chest. Oh, we got some gloves. Okay. Let's put on the gloves. Okay, so that's going to go up eight. Guess we can leave the gloves on for now. They're not too bad. What's in you? Oh, we've got a better hat. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, but ugly. Right, anything else? These globes are everywhere. Revenia. Anything else I need to know about? Not really. Okay. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Mm, hmm. That didn't seem very good. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Nope. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Oh, goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? 
perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, so now we get to choose. So it's a horn beam, phoenix feather, rigid, 10 inches. Okay. So one style and colours. Curious indeed. Hmm. That's the one we just saw. How intriguing. It's not too bad. I like the twists. Curious indeed. Mm, not so keen on that one. Mm. How intriguing. No, not really. I think I'm going to go with a twisty Good one. Indeed. Oh, it's just a matter of colour. That's a nice-ish colour. What's this colour like? No, I don't like that. But I kind of like that one. Okay. So we have different types of wood. So this one's a horn beam. How intriguing. Ollie. Hazel, Hawthorn, English Orc. I think we're going to go with English Orc. Hmm, flexibility rigid, Curious indeed. quite bendy, fairly bendy, flexible, quite flexible, swishy, swishy, slightly springy. indeed okay so I think how intriguing that wasn't what I wanted have clicked on the wrong thing curious indeed swishy or springy we're going to go with springy Now, dragon heart that serves as the core of a wand, wand even, known for producing powerful magic. A unicorn hair that serves as a core of one known for producing consistent magic. Feather of a, of a phoenix that serves as core of a wand capable of producing a great range of magic. Okay, so you can have consistent, you can have powerful or you can have a great range. I think I'm going to go with range. Uh -huh. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Okay, so let's hit F, and we're going to purchase that. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. That's cool. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. 
That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. It's awesome. Hey, so we've got our wand. Uh, let's go to the map. And we need books. Just tomes and scrolls, I want to say. Let's have a little look around on the way, though. Because I thought I saw some stuff when I did... Re okay, so they're all locked, but... Oh, I see a gold thing there. Let's try again. It's round the back. There we go. Anything else? Oh, a page. That's cool. Oh, we've hit the two mark for in here. So let's just go to challenges. Appearance. Okay. So these are all appearances. Okay. Complete three side quest relationships. Okay. Hang on. Did I see what was that one I saw? Inventory. Oh, that will be what we gathered, won't it? I'm assuming. Yeah. another chest down here is it inside a building oh no it isn't that's cool oh we got some wig and weld portions okay got some chests in there an inquiring mind Rebellion. Okay, the enchanted staircase in Tomes and Scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written pro products, including spell crafts, handy for conjuration. Okay, so it's, is it? It's got to be inside the building. Yeah. Okay, so there's... Okay, what are you? Ah, this is what it was talking about. That's cool. Is there anything up there? I don't I think, think I saw anything, did I? Hang on. What? Let's try again. Terrible aim. Okay. okay, so there is something up here. I just didn't see it from down there. Which kind of makes sense because of the staircase. So that was gold. Kind of cute in its own weird way. Right, so I know there's chests because we saw them over there. Nope, can't open that one. See if we can. Oh, it's not going to stop us, so that's cool. Okay, so it's another one of those that I'm not sure yet how to open. Oh, so we got a jumper. 
And it looks like it was an improvement. Uh, there we go. Okay, so it's going up six. Ugh, I don't like the look of it. Hang on. Change appearance, F. So what choice do we have? I can't say I'm keen on any of these, so let's... Nope, that's definitely not a good thing to do. So what was the default one? I think that must have been the default. I think you're... We'll go with this one because it goes better with the robe. What are you? Rebellion. Some kind of... Is that a moon it's holding? Okay. Let's go talk to this gentleman about um, the books. And pretend we didn't speak, sneak into his room and pinch things. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Mm, okay, so let's see what we need to buy. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, so... so that's not going to cost us anything. It's a pot and table with spellcraft. That's not going to cost us anything, so... Portion table. If you're interested, okay. feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Okay, so... Potting table large. But it's all very expensive. I've only got 455. So I'm gonna have to get a bunch more gold. What's this? Sell. Oh I can sell some stuff. Okay, sell item. Gives me So it has no properties. That one has no properties. Neither does that. That's not what I'm wearing because it'd go down three. That would go down three. Okay, that clears some stuff out and that gives us a thousand. Well, 935. That's cool. So at least we've sold some stuff. So the next location got two more shops to visit so we'll end this episode here 
and we'll start the next one visiting the next two shops.